Speaking of snow, we get some overnight here, but we have more on the way for some this weekend. Matt's here with the snow conditions report to outline the details. I tell you what, going into the snow conditions report, you don't want to see what happened yesterday. A widespread melt. Nothing melts snow faster than the heavy rain and also warm temperatures, but we're in snow replacement mode right now, at least our southern counties, which will likely put possibly some trails into play around Paw Paw and also around the Dwajiak area, but the rest of the lower Michigan is essentially toast in terms of any snowmobiling you may want to do. The good news is, though, the snow, the ski resorts are just fine out there. But yesterday, beginning of the day, we had 96% of the state covered with snow. And look what happened with all that rain and that was warm temperatures. And we're now down to 60%. Obviously, you can see where most of it was lost across lower Michigan. Here's the good news snow cover across the northern tier of the state, especially the UP. We're still holding on to a lot of snow out there for snowmobilers. Yes, that's where you want to go, but keep in mind it's going to be a busy weekend because basically everybody has to go across the bridge to find that decent snow for those trails out there. So the trails may deteriorate a bit. Again, we're looking pretty good in terms of uh, the ski resorts, but call ahead because some of them are so busy uh, they're only doing in-person lift ticket purchases, so be aware of that. Snow future cast for the remainder of the weekend. Now, this is for the current system, but for the rest of the weekend, it's a clipper up to the north that's going to roll across uh, the state tomorrow night. That's going to give, in general, about one to four inches worth of snow. Again, the sweet spot it will be in the eastern UP where they could see isolated amounts four to six inches by the tail end of the weekend. I guess the good news is they're not going to be losing uh, any snow out there. And the temperature future cast basically has the coldest readings on Saturday, highs only in the teens and 20s, but warming up as we head into Sunday.